I think the team of people that I could see working here was one of the main reasons why I wanted to work here. Talkback Energy obviously have a really big challenge and I find that really exciting because it's developing new technology and designing new systems. Yeah, that's just a really exciting prospect for me. My name is Vicky Bayliss and I'm a cryogenic engineer here at Tokamak Energy. A cryogenic engineer works with things that are really cold. So usually that's anything from about minus 100 degrees C down to minus 270 degrees C. I work with cryogenic systems. So part of it is commissioning systems like this one behind us. And part of it is designing cryogenic systems that are needed for technology development in the future. Cryogenics is absolutely an integral part of achieving fusion and having good, stable cryogenic systems. So in order to get fusion power, you need really high magnetic fields, and that's not possible with a room temperature magnet. And so the whole project is reliant on using HTS magnets, which um, are being designed by the HTS group, but that is reliant on being able to use cryogenic systems. So you have to be able to get the magnets cold so that you can operate them at the kind of currents you need to get the fields that you need um, in order to achieve fusion. So I'm working on two projects. One of them is commissioning this system here, which is for ST40. So ST40 has got some really large copper coils in it. And so far they've been operating them at room temperature. And in order to get higher magnetic fields, we want to operate them with liquid nitrogen temperature, so at 77 Kelvin instead. So we're commissioning the system at the moment in order to cool down everything to 77 Kelvin. Particularly for ST40, it's such a large system that it's going to take a long time to cool down. And part of that is that you've got lots of different elements and you want them all to cool down nice and slowly at the same rate so that we don't get problems with the thermal contractions going on. There's a lot of valves, so you can control the ratio of flows through the different parts of the system. So that if one part is cooling down too quickly, you might close those. We want everything to come down nice and slowly together so that nothing get, has any kind of mechanical stress on it. Soon we'll have this system up and running and then I'll be spending more time working on the design of the other cryogenic system that I'm working on. And hopefully by the end of the year that will be up and running and we'll be testing some magnets. I have a degree in aeronautical engineering. In my last job I was designing cryogenic systems and magnets for particle physics. I heard about TE and was interested because I was interested in fusion, but then I heard about the work that was being done with the, I mean, with cryogenics and also with the magnet development, and I thought that was really interesting, um, and that's what really made me want to work here. It's nice to have the contrast of working on hardware and seeing that finished result, that you've actually got a system that's working, but also I like doing the design work. I like sitting at my desk and working out how we're going to solve problems and design the system to work in the future. I've really enjoyed working with people here because everyone's been really friendly and there's a lot of people who really know their stuff. So it's just a really good learning opportunity for me, as well as being really interesting projects to be working on.